zoom in here just a little bit. See if you can get the insides of her arms. See her arm and the elbow? So I'm sitting here, and this girl walks into my car, just sweet as pie, soft spoken, real sweet, with big long thick eyelashes, but her face is kind of messed up, and her arms, it's obvious that she's been slamming, because the insides of her arms have really bad bruises in them, like she's been shooting heroin or something. And she says, uh, hi, uh, man, I'm saying, okay, uh, I don't know you. She says, I know that. She says, but I was wondering if you could help me. And I'm just sitting there going, oh, man, another beggar. And she says, I need a ride. I said, I cannot do that right now. I said, I have engagements to make. Over here at Okaloosa Island, Tom Thumb in Florida. And she says, Well, I just have a fear of going over bridges. Well, first of all, I just came over a bridge. And, uh, you know, I mean, I hate it for you. If you can't make it over a bridge, then why are you there? <laughs> so, uh, then as I'm sitting there, uh, She's standing there talking to a homeless guy sitting on the ground. So, um, this other guy goes to his truck and says, Excuse me, can you give me a ride over that bridge right there? Which goes back to Fort Wall. And it's like, you know, how does she even know he's going that way? Uh, he's like, he sees her arms when she lets her arms down. Both in the sides of her arms are big bruises, like she's been shooting, so be careful, because you never know, I had a friend that picked up a hitchhiker years ago in his brand new V-Dub, and he was an engineer with one of the big aircraft, air, aircraft companies, I think it was in Northrop, in California. And he said he was on this trip, I think, to go back to see his parents or something across the states. And he picked up this beautiful lady on the side of the road um, that was hitchhiking and offered to give her a ride. And she had traveled with him for a little bit there for a few hours. And um, they stopped and he offered to get her a beverage and that. And like a bozo, he left the keys in the car and left the car running. And she took off with his car and left him in the middle of nowhere. So be very, very careful. I had another friend that gave a ride to somebody in Dothan from the old Drifters Bar down to Cowboys just down the street. Real beautiful girl. Uh, he's like, well, sure, yeah, uh, let's go down there. I'll even buy you a drink. You know, she wanted to ride to the club down the street. And so, uh, in just that short amount of time, they went from drifters just to, to cowboys, just five minutes away. And um, he left her there at the club. And when he got back into his truck, the police stopped him and, and searched his truck and found a big bag of dope and you know, stuffed down the seat. So I imagine they had been watching her and um, uh, she either put it there on purpose or left it accidentally in his vehicle. And he was charged with that and went to jail. And this guy worked on the oil rates, made huge money. So please be very, very, very careful in, uh, in this day and age, letting someone into your house or your car uh, and make sure you have a really good feeling about it. If your kids sense they're bad or if your animals sense they're bad, they probably are. Please be very, very, very careful with this day and age. This particular area is a lovely, wonderful area. Not much problems at all. It's a lot of, you know, 
higher class people, um, decent, honest people. There's not a lot of trash. Um, a lot of fake beggars, but, uh, um, you know, it's not ultimately dangerous or anything like going to, you know, Columbus, Georgia, out on Victory Drive or down in Atlanta or something wild and crazy like that. Um, but still, you never know. Um, this could be just somebody traveling around hitchhiking in the states or something, but um, be very, very careful with what you do. All right, have a great day. Talk to you later.